Okay, so we just finished laying out our five inch pieces. We're removing, we're keeping a piece that's a half inch up and a half inch in, and we're removing this whole strip here, this whole strip here, this little triangle, this little triangle, in order to make our pieces look like this. Okay, so now we need to know how do we make a 45 degree cut like we did using our speed square, and how do we get rid of this? So let me show you. So we're going to start by doing the top piece here first. So I'm going to line this up so that this inch mark is right here on our 45. And then I'm going to clamp it uh, here. Make sure your clamp is not where the saw is cutting and clamp it tightly. Okay. Now what we want to do is I want you to cut right on that line. Okay. So if I look again here, I'm removing the X side. So I want to cut right on that line. Make sure your piece is pressed down so that it's square, so it's not at an angle like this. Because we have to cut right down that angle right there. So I'm going to make sure my clamp's not getting cut, and then now I'm going to pull back. Pull back. So I'm right on that line. I'm holding this piece, keeping my hands very clear of this. And I'm cutting so that it goes right down the line. So let me show you the angle here. So I'm cutting right down that line. Let me change. So I'm going to cut right down that line. Now, if I get off of that line for some reason, what I would do is stop and cut that piece right there and then snap it off and then correct it. I'm staying on that line, so I'm going to keep going. Now, I want to line up my saw on this side into the miter. So let me change my camera angle here again. So now I want the far side of my saw to line up in there so I don't wreck my miter box. And there we go. Now you'll notice I cannot go any further because my saw just hit the spine on the top. So right there, you'll notice I can't go further because the metal's there. So what we need to do now is remove some of that wood. So here's how we do it. Going to release it. My saw's right there. I can't go any further. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to line it up right there on the far side. Don't cut into your... We're not going to cut all the way through. So now that piece came off. And now I'm going to line this up here so I can see how deep I want to go. Line that line right up there, clamp it. And now I'm going to cut right down to that inch mark all the way through. So now I've cut down to my inch mark. Now going to line up that mark there, 
clamp it, pull back, and now go down. Until that falls out. So now I've removed the X portion in an inch, up an inch. Now we need to do this one, which is going to be a little bit more challenging. And I just realized something, which is before we cut this part, we actually need to cut this first. So I'm going to see if we can do that by clamping these together like we did on the other ones, which is I'm going to take my square and I'm actually going to go through these lines right here. Take my square and go through that half inch line that I drew up. Half inch line there. A half inch line here. Okay. So there are my pieces. So this is what I'm going to do. Just like I did this with my other one, I'm going to clamp these together. So I'm going to put it right here. So this angle here this angle here is called a beveled 45 degrees and this is a mitered 45 degrees as you can see here so we need to use our bevel 45 degree i'm going to line that up just like that and i'm going to clamp it make sure that these are Perfectly lined up and clamp. So now I'm going to very carefully put my saw into that, that groove, work it over this way. Until I get to my other one. This is actually a little bit of a challenging cut because we have that piece that doesn't want to cut in there. I'm going to get right in there. And now I stop right there. Okay? So now what I'm going to do take this and switch it around. Line it up over here. Carefully line it up right to this point right there. And then I'm going to clamp it right there. I'm going to pull my saw back. So again, this is going to be a little bit more of a challenging cut, but you guys can do it. I believe in you. 